So today I'm going to go through how I am going to apply It's Pure Organics Henna Hair Colour. So basically the reason I'm doing this, um, this isn't going to be very well edited or anything like that. So I bought this on the basis of written reviews and there are a lot of video reviews on the Lush Henna and there's nothing on this so I just thought, you know what, I'll do my own. Um, and just see how it comes out so we'll just see how it goes and yeah hopefully it'll be useful to whoever wants to buy this so if I could just I hope that's in focus so basically you can buy this from Boots and you can buy it from pretty much any online store as well um, I can't remember where I got it from I think I got it from Amazon actually yeah you can buy it from Amazon as well because it's locked down at the moment so I'm not getting out so right let's have a look what's in here then so pretty much the reason i went for this brand is because this is just mixed up henna and indigo like that's all it is which is obviously what i want um so what we've got in here we've got some quite quite rubbish gloves actually so i'll just use my own gloves you know these plastic bag gloves are not really any good for anyone um, but I will use a shower cap so I don't wreck my own shower cap. I think this is a shower cap. Yes, it is. It's a shower cap. That's handy. Okay, so we'll use the shower cap. Brilliant. So, the reason I bought this rather than the Lush one is because it comes in a powder form. I don't really want to be chopping up henna and, and indigo on my chopping board. I just don't really want to do that. Um, and also this one is natural as well so I'll just read out the ingredients to you so we've got indigo we've got henna we've got amla um, neem and that's it that's all that's in it so that's really good it doesn't tell you the percentage of henna versus indigo but because this is very dark brown there will be more indigo in this than there will with henna so you're supposed to leave it up to four hours i'm probably not going to leave it up to four hours i'll probably leave it like two hours or something and also i have got a microwavable heat cap so that is very uh, useful to speed up the process so also just to obviously my hair is a little bit damp at the moment so i need to just dry it a little bit more before i do the application because it's still dripping a little bit so I will insert a picture, but my hair is, um, it's brown. It's just a medium brown on top. Because we have had the lockdown, because I've been in the garden a lot, it's gone quite red at the end. You can't tell in this light, um, but you will in the photograph. It's quite ginger. And it's it's just been bleached by the sun, I, I think, because no previous years has it ever gone that light by itself. Um, also, um, just to give you a bit of history on my hair, just in case you've also got chemically treated hair. So, um, in 2018, start of 2018, I had a balayage done. Um, so, it was sort of from here. Um, it was quite, quite short hair at the time because I kept bleaching it, believe it or not. Um, so, um, pretty much to, to here, it was blonde. And then in August, I've got notes because I can't remember things. In August, I went on to the curly girl method. If you've sort of, if you've got wavy hair or curly hair, I'll definitely look at that because it's really like my hair has grown such a lot, and I have cut it several times. It would be pretty long if I hadn't cut it, but it tends to look like a witch if I don't cut it. So I had to cut quite a bit off. Um, three days ago, I cut about three inches off. So um, I think I've got rid of most of the bleach, but I will get onto that. So after I started the curly girl method, I didn't bleach my hair at all, um, but I was using direct dyes, so, and also semi-permanent dyes as well. Um, like last year, last, so 2019, um, I used dark brown semi-permanent dye, and then over the top of that, I used a direct dye, a red one, because it was Christmas and I wanted red hair. Um, and it was a Joyco one, so if you've ever used Joyco, if you haven't used Joyco, it does not come out. 
it doesn't just wash out so I went through a process of trying to strip that out a few months ago because um, I wanted to sort of get back to my natural colour um, and so the, the lengths will be a bit damaged from that process. So basically what I've got here, I've got some cling film and I've got some I've got some of my own gloves. They're not great, but you know they're they're better than those ones that were provided. Um, mixing pot. So you want to be using water as well. I know a lot of people have been using boiling water, but it doesn't need to be boiling water, it's just warm water. So the plastic pot is okay, you know, but if you've got um you're not supposed to use metal, this doesn't have any metallic salts in it, but I have read that if you use metal it changes the pH. So I'd just rather not risk it because I don't need to use metal. Um, I've got a little wooden fork to mix it up. I've also got one of these hair brushes to put it on my roots when it's, um, when it's ready. And I've got lots of clips as well to section my hair. So that's pretty much my plan of action in order to not brush it is to section it really um, well and then do my roots first because I think that they will be the least likely to take up the colour because they're healthy. And then once I've done all of my roots, I'll do my ends. What I have heard is, and I heard it from a channel called um, Henna Souk. So if you want to have a look for Henna Souk, is to use some um, aloe vera powder. Because henna by itself can be quite drying for the hair. And the reason it's drying is because it strengthens it. So your hair gets very strong and um, anyone, know, like basically anyone knows if you use too much protein on your hair or anything like that, it gets too strong, it looks like straw. So you then need to counteract it with moisture. And the moisture is the aloe vera powder, which I already had. Um, so you already sort of use masks and things with amler and um, I used to use cassia as well. Um, because cassia doesn't dye your hair and it's got the same kinds of properties um, as henna in terms of strengthening. So yeah, I am going to get some warm water. I'm not going to use anything else. A lot of other channels will suggest that you use lemon juice. Now I've got wavy hair, that's not going to happen. I'm not putting lemon juice in my hair so that it dries it all out. Um, I'm putting aloe vera in it so that it doesn't dry it out. Um, and also I don't think that that's necessary. I'm not sure chemically why that would be necessary. Um, so I'm not going to do it. So pretty much this is all I've got. Um, once I've mixed it up, I'll go into the bathroom because the bathroom needs doing still. So if it's a mess, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I'll mix it here because the light's better. So yeah, we will get on to that. Okay, right. I will put gloves on because I don't want to stain my fingers. I've also, I boiled the kettle to get the water. It says in the directions, because I thought I'd better read these, you know. Um, it says that you need to use 40 degrees to 50 degrees uh, centigrade water. Um, so I boiled the kettle and left it for a little bit. That's okay for me to put my finger in. So. You know, it's not going to burn, it's not going to um, melt the plastic bowl or anything like that. It's fine. Um, also, I mean, you've seen my hair, it's like, it looks quite full when it's down and it's got the, um, you know, it's got its waves in and everything, but I haven't actually got very thick hair. So I don't think that this is all necessary. So I'm going to pour in kind of what I think I should have. Also, I read some reviews, so, you know, if any, if there are, like, there are loads of reviews on this and on Amazon, so just have a look on Amazon, also on the Boots website, loads of reviews on there. Put an old towel down as well, because you don't want that getting everywhere. Um, I'm just, like, worried about it getting on anything that's white or cream, to be honest, like, the work stuff is fine. Um, anyway, so, yeah. Let's have a look because people have given an indication of the, the length of their hair, the thickness of their hair and how much they've used. So 
I'll do is I'll just I'll add my I'll add the aloe vera in now, give it a bit of a mix, and put the water in, and then I'll just see because I've got plenty of you know I can put more water in, can I? Um, just knowing how much dye I usually use for like if I like generally dye, dye my hair, um, I used to be able to get away with just one packet. Um, so I've put quite a lot of aloe vera in there, probably maybe too much, but we'll just have to see, won't we? I don't want dry hair, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a little stir. Um, to get all of the lumps out, I will start stirring it with the brush, but in the meantime, I will use this, this um, wooden fork that I have um, just to do it. So, oh, also, do a strand test. I did do a strand test, but I think my hair was a little bit too wet um, because, you know, when you're trying to just have a little bit of the mixture and just put a little bit of water in and you go, and just loads of water goes in, that's pretty much what happened. Um, but the strand test for me was just to make sure I wasn't allergic to it. Um, it is natural, it's just that, you know, sometimes you can be allergic to natural ingredients. It doesn't mean that you're not allergic, so just try it, because if you've got this on your head um, two hours in and it starts really itching, that's not going to be very pleasant. I think that this is plenty, to be honest. I mean, this bag was like £11, so if I can get two uses out of that, that's pretty good, I'd say. So you need to mix it until it's the consistency of yoghurt. Or, you know, conditioner or something like that. So, it's going to take a lot of mixing. So I'll probably just speed up this mixing process. This is the mixture that I've got. That's what I am keeping. What I will do is I'm going to go and set up the bathroom a little bit. So this can sit for a little while. Um, some people leave this overnight. I don't, I'm not leaving it overnight. I'm doing it now, but... You know, if there's if you feel inclined to do so, um, leave it overnight. I think it's supposed to be something to do with just henna by itself. Um, it lets the it make it makes the colour um, come out, the colour pigment come out a bit better. But um, I don't know whether that's necessary with indigo, and it certainly doesn't tell you to do that in. The, um, in the instructions so that was my cat so, <laughs> so yeah this is pretty much what we've got and I will meet you upstairs okay so here we are in the bathroom I'm just going to put my gloves on um, mixture has been sitting for a little bit maybe 15 minutes 20 minutes while I've just prepared everything um, I have this, a dye towel, and I've got a dye towel on the floor as well, um, just in case there's any drips, and also if there's anything that goes on the floor, I'll just wipe it with that. And right, so my methodology for doing this, I'm gonna obviously speed it up when I do it because it's not gonna be particularly interesting. Um, my methodology is gonna be, see how I've, I've parted my hair into six pieces. So I'll start, with the, the the roots at the top and then I'll work out to the roots at the bottom and then when I finish that I will start with the hair at the bottom and then the hair at the top and the reason for that is because the hair at the bottom is usually a bit less damaged um, so I think it might not take up the mixture as well as the top that's my understanding that's my that's the basis that I'm going for anyway so if you see me doing that that's why um hopefully I'll do this as soon as possible so it will just be over as soon as possible so yeah okay we'll, we'll get on
you're sort of rubbing it in a lot it's not like normal dye it's not watery and it will dry it will get really crusty and as you take it off it will crust out everywhere so when you do take it off as i will be i will be in the shower and just making sure that all of my clothes and everything is just shook out in the shower because um if you, if you don't want to get it on the carpet or anything like that um everything that i'm going to sit on is going to be covered as well so um yeah so i'm just like rubbing it in because it's like just to make sure it gets all the hairs because imagine having it on for two hours and it's all patchy so i think i've got all of the hairs i think that'll be okay um so what i'm going to do is just pour pile it on top of my head or wrap it around my head or some i'm going to do something um and then clean film and then a shower cap and then i'm right and then i'll go downstairs i'll microwave my microwavable um shower cap and put that on if you haven't got one of those i'm not going to have that on for two hours i'll probably just have it on for the first 30 minutes or something um and then i'll put like if you've got like um an old towel or something if you've got like a hat a woolly hat um like a black one ideally um you can put that on just to keep your hair your head warm because the heat helps it all develop so um i will start this and then i'll clean myself up hello i'm back this is the result of the henna and indigo hair application so i'll put some pictures as a comparison because um this light isn't great um but basically this is this is really nice this is what i wanted it's not very dark brown um i did leave it on for the four hours because after the two hours it looked kind of green at the ends i just took a little bit out tested it thought mm, looks a bit green so i'll leave that on um, so after the full four hours, this is the result basically. Um, obviously, it's not very dark brown as the packet suggests. If you were starting with a darker base colour, you would probably get very dark brown. Or maybe if you did one application and then the next day did another application, you'd be able to get the very dark brown colour. Um, but it's, I kind of wanted this colour anyway um, and was just crossing my fingers that it wouldn't get too dark. <laughs> so that's fine for me um rinsing it out was a little bit messy to be honest but no messier than dyeing your hair red if i'm perfectly honest so um as long as you got the shower head um running on your hair put some conditioner on your scalp um i use obviously silicon free conditioner so that that was absolutely fine for me um that's how i wash my hair so i just rubbed that through my scalp um, got it in through the ends really worked it through the ends and the water ran clear so that will be absolutely sufficient and i didn't find any staining on the pillowcase the next day or anything like that so um yeah i was pretty happy so hopefully this review has been useful to you and you can um dye your hair with henna with confidence so thanks guys for watching and good luck <laughs>